All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, you know, spent some time looking through uh, threads about uh, people bitching about microtransactions and shit. So it looks like I'm gonna have a pretty fun time dealing with that situation. So I'm gonna have to like figure out how to uh, how to deal with that. Um, but with that being said, uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's just trying to figure out, like, how I'm going to, like, I'm pretty much going to take a pretty hostile attitude towards idiots, but I have to kind of, like, figure out, do I allow, like, because I'm not sure what the moderation, I know I can just delete someone's thread, but sometimes I may want to actually leave what they said, but then ban them from ever being able to post on my form, uh, Steam forums again, because I'll actually need to read that, at least at first, uh, to get feedback, um, you know, so, uh, I don't know, uh, well, but, you know, we'll take a step at a time, but, uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, I, I guess after all the time that I've been wandering life, you know, I guess, uh, you know, um, God has finally prepared me for this, you know, I should have been doing this a long time ago, but I just didn't know, you know, and it's not like, you know, my acting stuff was, uh, useless in fact, you know, it's actually it was critical that I learned it, uh, but because of the way that, you know, you know how everything's expensive and then you have to have a practical roadmap to your dreams it's like yeah i gotta start with video game development because that's the because that's what i can do on my own starting out and it's the cheapest thing that gives me the most leverage it also will teach me things about like advertising and shit so yeah so i was just doing all that in the background uh i really need to finish this book though so because i haven't programmed in almost a week now or five days so i need to get back to programming Somebody did actually ask me for help from the Unity forum, though, because he also bought the tower defense kit, so at least that also helped a little bit with the coding, because obviously he asked, like, what code did you do to, you know, fix, you know, the dis like, how to display stats on a turret? It's like, oh, yeah, this is what I did, you know, so. So that keeps the, uh, you know, muscle, mental muscles, mental coding muscles, uh, you know, worked out a little bit. Yeah, but anyway... Uh, so I didn't do any research at all, so let's just see what it is. Um, Bitcoin searches for this week is still 9, so it's still pretty much at the bottom. Uh, the good news is, though, it looks like crypto is going way up, thank God. Especially Litecoin. Where are you? We've been waiting so long for my Litecoin, man. I've been waiting so long, all right? You know, in fact, I, instead of selling it, I decided to just put in my IRS, uh, tax, uh, Cap long term capital gains designated Litecoin account. So, uh, yeah, I'm still I'm still feeding off of financial body fat, you know. So, uh, because you know I am playing greedy, right? I can afford to play greedy, right? Because I know I'm gonna earn more money selling my Litecoin if I just simply wait, right? You know. So, and now that the lockdown is being lifted, I might actually consider going back to doing some uh, background acting. You know, but I'm, I'm still kind of like, ah, you know, I like my free schedule. I know I'm not going to make that much, but it can be fun. It's like, eh, we'll have to see. Bitcoin does is at 62.9%. 24 volume is actually increasing to 72.6 billion. So I'm actually curious to see if this number is going to change uh, as the week goes by. Because I'm seeing indications that interest is just going back up. Well, Bitcoin's a little is at 93.91. <coughs> Very good. This is a very good price. Litecoin, thank God, forty-five dollars and eleven cents, skyrocketing. Well, Cardano's going up too, so everything's actually going up pretty well, as you can see on the trend lines here. Donkey Coin is now at forty hundred, four hundred ninety-two point three million uh, market cap. Sadly, I don't have any dog coin, so it's yeah, missing out. So I'm waiting for Litecoin to skyrocket. All right, I'm waiting for Litecoin to skyrocket. Uh, it looks like today's an update in the markets. Yeah, so everyone's figuring out that everything's bullshit, so things are going back to no normal. Uh, Yahoo Finance and the shit lid are still peddling the fake news terrorism, like cases are going up. The cases are not going up. People are being tested more, so we're finding out who actually has and who doesn't. Brook Brothers goes bankrupt, fell by pandemic debt, uh, also because they probably did not adapt to the times, right? I read the Everything Store, uh, right, Jeff Bezos' book, and the uh, Infinite Game book by Simon Sinek, right? Like, you, th these guys definitely just probably, I already know just by the headline, they just did not adapt to the times, so, you know, 
like they like they fell by the pandemic so i guess so i guess they couldn't sell anything online because i think Brook brothers sells clothing right yeah you could totally buy clothing online right yeah you could do it in person but you could totally buy, like i buy underwear online right because i was running out of men's you know underwear briefs right and models is closed so what do i do i go on amazon i bought it in fact i got two extra pairs for three dollars cheaper from amazon right that's a form of ad, uh, ad, 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 adaptation right and it's by haynes right so haynes adapts to the times that's why they're still in business so no sympathy from me but you know that's oh well, no that's not really true uh it's all but i mean i know i know of the brand but it was like wow you know uh warren buffett's actually donating almost three billion to charity so at least he's actually doing something instead of just spouting his usual far left rhetoric costco could see a lasting boost from blah 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 yeah like people who service food is just gonna well unless you're a small time local restaurant you know, like but big big, uh, big big grocery store like this yeah you'll do fine fatty friend oversee overseer put squeeze on 50 okay i don't really care uh some more stuff florida insurance in your fired after costco coronavirus mass confrontation uh let me guess he didn't have a mask on he got in a bat with the costco people and he got fired uh the man to a real terrain telling one man who appears to be fending her to back up and stop harassing him who after he was asked to put on a mask and stay six feet here the man says he played his fist to which you ever i'm not right you're coming close to me i can approach a very i feel third i feel third back up there the back okay Put the phone down. Yeah, see, people don't like it when you put the put, uh, put a phone on and record them because it shows like who they really are. Whether it's cops or people on the left or people on the right, it doesn't matter, right? You sh you, you reveal who the piece of shit really is. That's why whenever like I know there could be a confrontation, especially starting when I moved to Florida, maybe I think they have more free speech there than unlike here in New York City. So everyone's actually screaming the n word at each other, right? So that probably makes black people angry down there. All right. Which then makes them in an already agitated state, and then they retaliate. So you know, I, I'm gonna get caught in the crossfire. So that's why I have to have my cell phone ready to go, just so I can post it on Twitter. Say, like, look at this racist asshole calling, saying all this anti-Chinese shit. What a fucking asshole, you know. Go to Twitter more the car who was started said to give cars. So they scored him out and made me wait inside my room until he left, and they and then they sent someone with me to the car to make sure I'm okay. The man to me was like, was a former employee at uh, Todd Insurance. Okay, three minutes, two minutes, go get. Okay, well, then I'm gonna fire me. The guy has sure all my requirements were facial mask. Oh, but I was sure really that safety is worth the thing. Yeah, I really fucking hate the mask, but I still wear it, right? I went to I went to Target yesterday to stock on groceries. It's about 199 bucks, surprisingly. It would have been 207 bucks, but the. I guess there was a really friendly, unusually friendly store manager that, like, hey, I know all this stuff could be, uh, is cheaper, because it's cheaper online, so let me give you the discount, right? And then it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it saved me several bucks, right? I bought, like, five boxes of, like, California barbecue chicken pizza. Very good pizza, very cheap, relatively cheap, and very healthy. You know, no crazy chemicals at all, and very light on the calories the entire box is literally only like a 880 calories and 950 and i have half of that so it's very well within my um calorie restrictions uh yeah so let's see yeah i want to i really want to watch it but uh to tos terms of service your harassment says you could man okay feel threat feel uh, back up uh, Okay, I'm trying to figure out what is because I kind of read it really fast. Oh, okay. So the, I'm not harassing you. You're coming close to me. Oh, okay. So that, see, this is the effect of this fucking lockdown bullshit, right? So yeah, it, it's fucking bullshit. <clears throat> you HSBC slump says U.S. ways move to punish Hong Kong banks. Uh. Huh. Let me see. Really? HSBC. Really? They make that, but they're such a big company. Aren't they also publicly traded? Well, they have been closing down a lot of branches lately. Well, I just assume it's because they just want to do shit online. 
Uh, for these slumpers investors, Trump's got party to move banks and city still as a currency pick to the Europe slash. Oh man, we really are getting ready for a war with China. This is this is bad. All right, we'll we'll definitely read that later. Uh, okay, the rest is just crap. All right, so Rebel didn't really go up when it went up uh, two days ago. It's not really up here today. So yeah, I'm guessing the lockdown is actually having an effect on the real estate market. So I guess Rebel will have to wait. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, Bitcoin's doing pretty well, so Evans at 2.4%. Uh, Reach of Financial is also having problems too, so this isn't limited to just Remel. It's actually apparently all real estate. Okay. Uh, tech companies, of course, doing well, and Tesla doing... Yeah, it's actually pretty reasonable, so... All right, very good, very good. I don't know what's wrong with James. See, I'm going to refresh this one again. Ken. Uh, 404 is at 366 to 376. So it's holding pretty well despite cryptocurrency going back up. All right, I'm not waiting on this. I'm going to go on Chrome and take a look. JMC coins at 8 to 9. Uh, I'm not going to click, but it does have a trade value of $208. So it's actually pretty. Oh, actually, it's showing up here. 8 to 9. It's doing very well. So that's very good. Um, oh, yeah, I've actually made the. Actually, how many people watch the video? Really, no one gives a shit about JMC coin. I even have it in the title. Yeah, no one gives a shit about JMC coin. That's that's hilarious. Well, there's gonna be a coin swap, so uh, I guess the one or two or few people that know about this is uh, you know going to uh, maybe buy up or something. I don't know, or maybe they're actually dumping. I don't know. Let's take a look here. Oh, it looks it looks the same as it always does. Eight, nine, seven. Yeah, a lot of value. Uh, but yeah, Mitch is still working on the code, so. Uh, 404 is at 366 to 376. Actually, I already said that. 2 by 2 is actually doing really well as well. 70 to 72. So it's holding up very well despite crypto going up. So this is an extremely good sign. It's extremely bullish. There's been so much pent up demand. And we've been waiting so long for the bull run that it's just like, can we just have it already? So, from all that's happening. Looks like Rick's is stabilizing around the 154 to 164 mark, so. Uh, it's doing pretty well. It's actually doing pretty well. So, uh, yeah, I have some buy orders here, but uh, I have to help Mitch with the compiling cost for JMC's uh, new wallet. So, you know, I'm not going to be buying any Rick, Ricks for a bit. Um, nothing here, nothing here. Uh, from and to your bank account. Uh, that's actually kind of nice. Um, yeah. Every time I read this uh, what, by this guy, it's always kind of just thin and boring so but let's see elite data shows how FBI encourages Bitcoin laundering well that makes sense uh, Bitcoin realized all totally lasted okay um, watch fiat currency if you want to guess Bitcoin no uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, excuse me uh, this is a very yeah I'm actually up to the, I'm still reading my advertising book and they totally talk about how you should exaggerate and have a really crazy headline. Right? That's why we see so much of this bullshit. But I actually need to read this because obviously I'm trying to put this content out there. Uh yeah, but this is bullshit. Uh but whatever, you know, more hash I mean more hash rates just gonna just be naturally gonna occur as Bitcoin goes back up in price. So everyone's gonna be competing for their slice of the pie. And that's good for us, for you and me. Because we don't care about hash rate. Right? That's what we do proof of stake mining. Tesla needs the Bitcoin Lightning Network for its autonomous robo tax fleet. Uh, okay. Now that would explain, I mean, Elon Musk isn't fully on board crypto yet, but he's definitely not hostile towards it. So I think he's waiting for something. Or he's got something in the works. Viral Xer, uh, okay. Legendary Bill Mayer makes the case for, okay. Uh, bull running kind of Ethereum, bull. Crypto thieves impersonate Joe Rogan in new Bitcoin giveaways. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know what? We're going to. Um, what was the thumbnail shown for for a Hong Kong thing? Yeah, nothing. So we'll just use this. Uh, actually, I kind of do want to read that. That does sound pretty funny. Uh, blah blah blah. blah, blah Bitcoin. Okay. All right, so this is all bullshit. All right, so no, there's actually nothing new. Uh, Trump's back down 20% because Kanye West, he announced his run for president, but he's actually not on the ballot yet. He has to file the paperwork. So if Kanye West does not file the paperwork, then it doesn't matter, which might be the reason why 
they're not doing anything here. Um, so, oh yeah, it reminds me. So I mean, Trump's been doing pretty well. So you know, he really does need Kanye West to solidify his thing. Uh, okay, so it looks like John Dogcoin really is. What's going, actually going on here? Uh, oh yeah, if I do get a dog, this is the guy, dog I want to get a Shiba Inu. So, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So there literally is nothing. It's just pump. It's just pump and dump. That's it. Uh, pretty sure Jeff Bezos is still alive. Uh, what? Wait. Wait, are you, are you serious? Or they mean... Oh, a different... Wait, there's someone else named Jeff Bezos and that person died? Oh, man. Wait, I, I gotta see this. Uh, news. Well, this is the... Uh... Internet debunks viral hoax. Okay. Oh, I... Yeah, so he's still alive. What the hell? Uh, all right. Let's see. Kai drive my channel. Blah blah. blah. I just go see you on the very top of the hill while we want the money. Are asking you where I'm going to be with them. Journey eighty. Tried to pass away yesterday. Her retired. Like okay. Uh, the left thinks Mount Rush is problematic. Oh, okay. So he's definitely watching. Uh, okay. We don't actually have time to watch this whole thing. But yeah, Trump is definitely on board defending Heritage America, and all the dissident right people are also in a full agreement. So this is an old tweet. So I actually want to uh, shit. I'm gonna have to open this up in Chrome. I'm gonna actually look at this uh, off stream. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many of those is that. Also, notice the views are much higher here too. Uh, ah, here we go. Vote for Trump or... Oh, that's interesting. He no longer su uh, supports Trump. Now that's actually important. Kind of really that he will run for the bit under his own party, the birthday party, and he no longer supports Trump. The Chicago representative will receive guidance from Elon Musk and his wife. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the birthday of the guy. Okay. Like anything I've ever done in my life, I'm going to win. Well, he's not going to win this year, but he could totally screw up uh, Joe Biden. Hmm. It's dumb Trump will run for birthday party. He reveals he's never voted before. He reveals he had coronavirus and fair it's and is anti vaccine. Will run for White House like Wakanda. Okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, this is honestly a joke, but I mean, how much damage does this do by coming on and saying, yeah, I don't support Trump? Uh, I actually don't know. I mean, normally I'll just look at this and then come up with my uh, theories based on this, but we don't see it. Like, what says he has, okay, I know I got everything, okay, Russia already has plenty of the ladder. Uh, I propose to him to be the head of our, okay. Um... Uh, okay, that said, West clearly still has an affinity for Trump and did not deny, okay, this is actually the most important thing, and did not deny that a run could be made to try to clean votes from Joe Biden to say that the black votes, Democrats, are foreign and white supremacy, okay, but he's never voted for four, I'm sure to vote in Wyoming for the first time this week, <laughs> so he didn't even vote for Trump back in 2016, but that's fine, like, what matters is he gets other people to vote for Trump. So this is actually good. So this actually answers the question that I really had. Does it just not like Trump or whatever? Okay, so this makes sense. He's like, yeah, I'm not supporting Trump. I'm supporting myself, and I'm supporting black people. That's totally fine. Oh, if Kanye West files a paper where he actually runs, and what he does is he sucks out all the black votes away from Joe Biden. That's all that Trump needs. So this is so Kanye West is very much in play. This is very much in play. Soon, of course, he files the paperwork. Uh, and uh, whatchamacallit, yeah, 
Trump is back on board. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Uh, shit, this is actually really important. So I better get the uh, link for this. Um, I'm not going to make this a thumbnail, but I'm going to make this uh, over here. All right, let's see. So H oh, where are we at? 20 minutes. All right, so HSBC, uh, potential targets. I feel like, uh, single up here one. Banks are going to be first time. To be Okay, each rated to do let's trace through through all way with the November due date. No, no, no. London based HSBC has been walking a political tire as it seeks to expand China in a bid to boost profits, shifting away from struggling operation in Europe and the US. The bank last month endorsed China's new security law. The US clearing license is vital HSBC's global operator and the bank is one of the large international lenders that are operating America. They recently hired James Fora, a former senior exec from Citigroup, to his boiler to look revamp its blah blah blah. HSBC is also the largest note issuing bank in Hong Kong, putting at more risk than standard. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, well, you're saying that's really the blank pledge when coming to invest in sports sharing after speculation in local media, and especially okay. Sometimes I want want the US to undermine the Hong Kong dollar's peg to the US dollar, punish China for a recent move. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This isn't about Hong Kong screen, it's just about punishing Chinese people, right? Oh, we're here to save you, Hong Kong. We're gonna come in and fuck up your currency. It's like uh, I'm, I'm so irritated with this. And the problem is, tr uh, Trump is a very big money guy, and he knows he's got a like a big th thing against China trade because obviously China's ripping everybody off, especially America. So it's like, like the worst thing you can do is give the globalists justified reasons for fucking uh, for fucking you over. Right, and they're really playing this up hard. Like, I, um, I'm guessing they, I guess China, I guess they feel like China really is a threat to the shit lib globalist world order. So, Fisher, uh, probably you know, who worry that so her Hong Kong banks and the U.S. not China said, yeah, China doesn't give a shit. They just want their fucking land back. All right, they have Bank of China. Like, it literally does not do anything against China because China already has their own systems in place. In fact, they're already replacing Americans in a lot of ways. And they're going to be the first to have a cryptocurrency, a digital cryptocurrency that is a national crypto, right? China coin. Like, oh my god. But the good news is a lot of people in the admin is telling Trump this is not a good idea. HSBC fell 4.43%. Hong Kong get the biggest, so they are publicly traded. But in Hong Kong, the bank declined 4.3%. Extreme nudity. Oh, how is the only climate on the... Oh, wow, so they're not even saying anything. All right, let's see what, let's see what the idiots here say. Okay, that's a spam arrow. Uh, it's a British bell. It's been journeyed by uh, year after year. Trying to buy the HA bit, a large car, the after security lab, but they do so you have to turn me in over. Oh, uh, well, uh, what did you do? Go there, I'll say, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a huge trade with HK every year. This trade will be gone. The man who says something stupid to Hong Kong, China will not care about because Hong Kong only counts for a time percent. Yeah, exactly. And in fact, does not give a pay a central government's tax system? Yeah, this is totally going to hurt the United States. So, I mean, Trump's got a lot on his plate, but hopefully he realizes this is a fucking retarded move. <clears throat> but, in a way, maybe I kind of want to encourage that to happen. Because then it'll piss off the people in Hong Kong and they'll just say Trump's an, an asshole. Because right? right now they're just saying nice things about Trump because they just want America to do shit for them. So, yeah. Uh... Oh, this is a very short article. That's good. That's that's gonna be my link to like crypto thieves impersonate Joe Rogan new Bitcoin scam. Crypto scares are not impersonating Joe Rogan. Blah blah blah. blah. Whale watching bot. What really do you do? That's someone worth. Uh, okay, it's kind of crazy. Joe Rogan kind of uh, and right uh, in effort trick Bitcoin. Uh, okay. Uh, Christian, I'm gonna shake your seven leg away, Kalu, the calorie that. Okay. Crypto DJ Wu Yang from Germany be yelling us last month. The Bitcoin scam is usually personally accessible here by using many wallets before they managed to steal 2 million worth of Bitcoin. I don't understand how they do that. What? I don't understand how they're doing this. Huh. Um, what's funny is people are retarded enough to fall for these things. It's like. Hey, hey, they're giving away free Bitcoin. Let me check the Twitter to see if they're actually giving away anything. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's like, oh my God. Like, oh, oh, what was that saying? A fool and his money is soon parted. Yes. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, uh, 
hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, I was thinking about actually running ads just to test spin, uh, you know, the Google Ads thing, but right now I'm kind of all over the place, so I'm not quite sure what I should be advertising for. Plus, even if I was successful at it, what do I really do with a large subscriber base? I mean, ultimately, I want to be marketing my game, right? This is more like my personal blog, uh, video blog channel thing or something. I don't know. Uh, there's just so much to do, but, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I'll have to spend extra cents until I know what I want to be doing. Anyway, uh, let's see. Today is Wednesday, right? So tomorrow's Thursday. I'll probably do another video. Right now, I want to test spend three days a week for doing videos, maybe four, but probably more like three. Because I really need to finish my books, all right? I really need to finish this book, get back to programming. And then I want to spend more time reading my story book, uh, my John Truby uh, 22 Elements of Story book. Because I need to, I need, a, I need a serious refresher on how to do my Hollywood script writing, right? And then plan out my TV series. Because without that content, I can't figure out what I'm going to put in my game. Because you know, like the game is supposed to be based on the show, right? You know, pretend I'm George Lucas. Except it's today, and Star Wars doesn't exist yet. But I have the idea for Star Wars in my head. The problem is, I won't be able to make Star Wars. So I have to make the games first, but it's got to be based on Star Wars. So, like, you see, it's like, that's the that's the reverse process. You know, because I, I don't have $50 million, all right? I don't have $25 million. Not yet. And by the time I do have it, I, I, I probably already made the game anyway. So, you know, this is, I mean, I would have had to do what I'm doing now anyway, so... I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Um, yeah, not really much happening. All right, crypto's going up overall. There's a pump and dump uh, scam going on with Dogcoin. So uh, yeah, uh, it just sucks because I totally would have just held Dogcoin, sell it at this amount, and then uh, just break in the Bitcoin. But you know, it's about the infinite game. So whatever, we get our cash flow. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, here's the thumbnail. Where is the thing?